Welcome back to another short UEFN tutorial. This time we will be talking about how to create your own moving lava floor obstacle inside Fortnite. We will explore how to animate and integrate the lava floor into our gameplay and grow your abilities along the way. Now let's get started! It's super easy, just use a damage volume and the cinematic sequence device. Start with adding a damage volume device to your scene and choose your desired size. Depending on your situation, you can choose a specific damage value per tick. In this example, as it's a lava floor and there's no intended gameplay way to return to your previous position, we use the damage type elimination. Decide if you want the damage zone to impact all teams, all classes or things like creatures and guards. For this example, we are choosing to enable the damage volume when the player spawns into the game. To move the lava floor upwards, add a cinematic sequence device. To add your own animation, create a new level sequence and name it appropriately. Drag the lava floor into the new window and you will see a transform track appearing automatically. Open the transform and location tracks and set a key at frame 0 for the Z track as Z is upwards in our island. Now move to the timeline position 100, modify the Z value to where you want your lava floor to move to and key the result. If you now scrub through the timeline, you will see the lava flow moving upwards. Setting the end of the timeline to the same value ensures that the object stops moving when the sequence is over. Selecting all of the keys and right-clicking on one of them allows us to choose the interpolation between the keys. In this case, we want the constant movement, so we choose linear. In the cinematic sequence device, you should see that the level sequence is now linked to the device. Make sure that loop playback is turned off and to choose force keep state, so the floor stays in its uplifted position. Play rate defines the overall speed of the animation. A value of 0.5 means it takes double the time to complete. To control the timing of the start of the animation, add a volume to your scene and link it to the play function of your cinematic sequence device. And here's our last step. In order to move the damage volume with our animated floor, we simply drag the damage volume onto the lava floor object to create a parent-child relationship. This means that every transformation we apply to the parent object, in this case the lava floor, gets to be applied to the giant object the damage zone too. And here you go! Your own moving lava floor! For more information and other cool gameplay ideas, check out our link in the description.